In this video, I will show you how to completely obfuscate and code encrypt your batch files so no one can look at your source code. If you are a viewer of this channel, yes, I did say we're going to calm down on the batch files. We're actually going to get good at normal programming. This video is a little bit different. It's not exactly just batch. In this video, you're going to learn a little about hex editing, how Windows runs files, how command prompt works, and etc. So this is going to be a really interesting video. It's not just like a quick, oh yeah, just do this and do this and you're done. I'm actually going to be explaining stuff this time. So for all the skids out there with your batch multi tools, just get some popcorn, lay back and enjoy this video. All right, let's get right into it. So in case you didn't know, if you create a batch file and share it, that source code is not safe. It is just out there in the open. Let me show you an example. So we're going to create a random simple batch file. I'm just going to call it file.txt. Dot BAT. We're going to right click edit and we're going to write some code. So I'm just going to make it say hello world and that's it. All right, so this is the code of the batch file. It just gives it a title, it says hello world, and that's it. So now let's run it. Okay, we see it working. For someone to see the source code of this batch file, all they need to do, right click, edit, and boom, all your source code is out there. So if you're selling batch files or if you have code in your batch files that you don't want seen, this is obviously a pretty big problem because they literally see everything. So in this video, I'm going to show you a few ways that you can prevent your code from being open source. I'm going to show you how to obfuscate it, encode it, encrypt it, basically learn everything that you need to know. So the first method is going to be encoding your batch file, which in my opinion is the best method and you'll see why. For batch file encoding, there are many, many tools that do this. If you look up batch encoder or batch obfuscator on GitHub, you will see plenty of these coded in Python, C Sharp, C++, whatever. And many of them do the exact same thing. But the truth about encoding is that you can literally do it yourself. You don't need to download any script off GitHub to do it for you. All you need is a hex editor so you can modify the data of your batch file. The hex editor I will be using is called HXD and I will leave its download link in the description. So here on my desktop, we have HXD. I can't lie, this it was made in like 2003. That was low key a bar. All right, so we have HXD and we're gonna run it. Here it is. Might look complicated to the skids, but I promise it's harmless. It won't hurt you. We're just gonna drag over our batch file. And here we go. We see all the bytes and we see the decoded text so we can see what we're changing. So all these numbers are just hexadecimal and each one represents one character. So we see if we highlight 40, that's at 65 is E, 63 is C, 68 is H, and 20 is a space. 0D and 0A is a new line. It's just hexadecimal. Now, what we could do is actually modify this and it will change the script or we can modify the script and just see what bytes that changes. Now, all we have to do is add two bytes at the beginning of the script and the entire code will be encoded. So I just wrote them down and I'm just going to copy paste them in the beginning of the file. FF and FE are special bytes that tell the system the file is encoded in UTF-16 little endian. And what happens when you add those bytes to a batch file is that those bytes mark the file as UTF-16, which is not what command prompt expects. CMD expects ask your UTF-8 and because because of that, the batch file gets obfuscated because text editors can't read the file. Boom, copy paste them. This operation changes the file size you want to proceed because we're adding bytes, we're not changing them. And I'm just going to mark, do not ask this question again. And so should you, because that shit is annoying. So okay, and then control S to save and it automatically saves it to the batch file. And it also creates a backup just in case. But you should have your own backup, come on. Let's try looking at the code. If we go on edit, we see boom, it's at the John Cena. I'm being chilling. And yeah, now if someone tries to steal your code, all they see is some fucking being chilling. And it's really that simple. But we're not finished yet because if we actually run file.bat, we see these errors. Now this is now this is the actual hard part. So this is the character that we inserted. This is FFFE, this right here. And we can't run this after at echo off or it won't obfuscate the script. We got to run it before. And we also want to avoid getting all these errors because now we stopped it from executing at echo off. And now it's weird. What we're going to do is we're going to add a new line. We're going to take the steps at a time and we're going to fix all this. So we see dot dot is a new line. That's zero D zero A. So we're going to copy that and paste it after our special character and save. Now let's run it again. Okay, so now we see we only have one thing to fix. Now we didn't block off the at echo off command. Everything runs fine. Everything is literally running fine, except we, we're just getting this error right here, which we can fix in a few ways. So what we could do is clear right after. We could just clear the console so this isn't visible. We're just going to edit our batch file. Oh wait, I forgot that it's encrypted. So here, what we're going to do right after this gets executed, I'm going to go CLS, which is these three bytes. I'm going to copy those and then and then bring back what was there. So we have those copied after our characters. We're going to put in CLS and make a new line. 
and it should be this simple. I'm pretty sure this is it. So we're going to run it. Uh -huh. So yeah, runs fine. You run it, we get our hello world batch file. And if we try to look at the source code, boom, whatever this is, maybe hacker Lloyd can tell us. Now there's only one small issue and that's when we run it, we see for like a split of a second, it gives the error thing. So yeah, I guess this isn't the perfect way to do it because you do see for a split of a second, something switch. So what we're going to do is copy the bytes off GitHub instead. So I literally just went on GitHub and searched for batch obfuscator and we have this. It's a Python file that does exactly what we just did. So let's look through the code and see what bytes he uses. So bat.py. Okay, it installs all the coloramas because that's important. Then we have the banner and okay, here we go. So hex, enter path of batch file. And now we see out hex dot extend, which means that we're adding these bytes. So we see FF, FE, that's what we have. And then the rest of this and then, oh, wait. Okay, let's actually paste this in and let's see what this shows us. So I'm just going to write it down. Okay, so from what I can tell, it had the special bytes, these four characters, new line, those bytes again, and then another new line or not. Wait, okay. I, honestly, I have no clue. So, so we're going to see what this does. Okay, so we're going to copy this. I'm going to remove what we had before. And now we're just going to paste all those bytes. Ah, he's smart. He's smart. Okay, so it executes it and then automatically clears and then does the special characters again. So I guess let's see if this works. We're going to save this and no, it doesn't work, which is kind of weird. Or maybe we're actually reading this wrong. So here's what I'm going to do. We're going to use AI. Okay, so I'm going to copy this whole function. We're just going to ask ChatGPT what the hell it's doing. What bytes are being added? Boom. Shift, enter, enter, paste. All right, let's see. This Python script is designed to obfuscate a batch file. Here's a breakdown of what the script does. Okay, that's the function. A random string of upper... Okay, so it prompts for the batch file. And then this is the list of hexadecimal byte values that are added. Okay, yeah, so we had all of these bytes down. And then the script opens the specified batch file in binary mode and reads its content into the variable penis. Each byte is converted to its two digit hex representation and added to out hex. New batch file, the same name, scripts. Um, yeah, something's off. Yeah, so it still ends up giving us the error, which isn't really helpful. What we could do is. I don't know what we can do. What if we switch these? Zero D goes here. And we maybe nah. Okay, so we see on his GitHub someone made an insane rewrite. Maybe he actually cooked. So let's see what he did. Error fix. Okay. Oh wait, I think he actually fixed it. Okay, let's go down here. Are those the exact same bytes? Yeah, I don't know what he's fixing here. I don't know what the hell this guy changed. I don't even see the bytes anymore. Where are they at? Okay, so he did switch around the code. I found the updated code. I'm pretty sure the bytes are still exactly the same. All right, some nerd can flame me in the comments because I cannot figure this out. Maybe this guy's code is just ass. Maybe Ebola is not cooking. I don't know, but we're 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 moving on. Whoa, whoa. Here I come. Oh, here I come. I just did it. I did Wait, it's the same shit, bro. I'm I fixed it, but it's the exact same shit. It's just and that's all he added. Yeah, okay, look, it's encrypted. The only difference is that we made a new line and he made and I just removed like the second time it said it. But yeah, it's it's the exact same thing. So it has like a small flicker of error before it executes. So yeah, in the future, if I find a way to do it without that, I'll let you know. I'm a perfectionist. Okay, that's why. That's why we spent so much time on figuring out the error thing. But yeah, that's it. All you need to do, add F F F E and clear the screen, and boom, your script runs as normal, and boom, obfuscated. Now I actually want to try this with one of my own files so this is a tool that i made the code is like 300 lines long so it's pretty complicated and we're gonna test this out we're gonna see if this will work so we're gonna drag over smbomb boom okay yeah so we see long ass code and we're just gonna add this in the beginning and we're gonna see if that encrypts it and if the script can still run because i forgot to mention this but the only problem the biggest problem with encoding is that sometimes it breaks your script so your script stops working so that's why we're gonna test this out and it runs. So that little, the system can't find the sp file specified is because I took it out of its folder. It uses these files. Wait, let's see if it's still, oh my God, it still runs. That's crazy. It still works. And now let's try looking at the code. Oh my God, look at this. Yo all encrypted. Another problem with the code is that if someone is smart, they can just bring it into a hex editor and they'll see everything. They can literally just delete your, your cute little special bytes and boom, your code is out there. So it does work, but I would not rely on it if you're really serious about it because someone can decode it. So that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new. I definitely did because I got a comment on one of my YouTube videos asking me like, oh, how do I obfuscate or encrypt my batch files, something like that. And I 
knew this technique from years ago where, you know, it just makes everything Chinese, but I never actually knew how it worked. I just use those scripts on GitHub. You just like drag it over, boom, and it generates a new one. But I actually learned how it worked and so did you. So like and sub, join my Discord, and I'll see you next time. Peace.